Okay, you guys, it's time to talk about the second 90 Day Fiance couple that we got to see. Um, the American in this coupling's name is Elizabeth, and her fiance's name is Andre. You have to say Andre when you talk about him because Elizabeth always forces the accent, right? So Elizabeth um, has like six brothers and three sisters, but she lives alone with her dog. She works for her dad, who is some sort of a property manager. And she also made it a point to say that she thinks it's small-minded to believe that your soulmate lives in your city or your country. But on the flip side, I do think that it's kind of crazy to go that far out of your way to find a soulmate that you're on dating apps specifically for people in completely different countries to you in different time zones and things like that. Like sure, it has the potential to work out, but that's like any relationship. I don't think that there's one soulmate for each person it's just making it work with you know whomever you might kind of fall for but anyway according to Elizabeth Andre is from Moldova but um, again she met him on some kind of international dating app and they are engaged so the next day she and her family go out for a birthday dinner of sorts and her dad and brother pretty much immediately dig into her about the fact that they've never met her fiance um, they don't know if he's capable of financially supporting her or just supporting her in some kind of capacity while he's here um, they believe that he might be using her for a green card and she's very very defensive and understandably so but it seems like she at least has one of her sisters on her side um, so um, Elizabeth gets telling like her dad and her brother to buzz off because they don't understand the kind of love that she's got with Andre and so you know one of her sisters like you know, Elizabeth, you need to stop acting like everyone is against you because I've told you so many times that I support you. And Elizabeth's brother's like, come on, do you think she's being reasonable about to marry someone none of us have ever met? And the sister's like, well, no, but you know, I'm her sister and I support her. And obviously that's not enough for Elizabeth. And um, the family just kind of fights about the fact again that they've never met this Andre guy that she's going to be marrying and um, Elizabeth's just like you know what all of you guys just wait and see because you're gonna be feeling like jackasses when you see how well our marriage works out and she doesn't really answer any of the questions that the family has about what he seems to do for work and just to rewind for a little bit when she was introducing us to Andre she was talking about how he is just so tall so fit people might find him intimidating because he's like 6'4 and goes to the gym regularly you don't really hear too too much about what they actually have in common on like emotional intellectual maybe even religious levels or whatever but I do sort of see this as being one of the more genuine couples. Like he comes from a pretty decent country. I don't think that he would just want to come to America, like, you know, and leave everything behind to escape anything. And, um, he's decently attractive she's decently attractive as well so i don't really see it as being like you know a danielle muhammad nicole as in sort of situation but only time will tell what goes on in this coupling unfortunately there wasn't too much to go off in her you know first episode but hopefully the drama kind of picks up as the season goes are you into this couple at all yes or no i give them like a solid 7.5 8 out of 10 like so far no major red flags have been going off for me but I'd love to hear what you think about them in the comment section below. Um, and as usual, we'll chat. You can also like this video, subscribe for more. Feel free to share it with your friends as well. And follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.